Begin Family Home, located at 578 Main Street, Mahone Bay, is the current location of the Mahone Bay Museum. Three generations of the Begin family lived in this house from about 1875 to 1959. The Mahone Bay area's Begin family are descendants of Jacques Begin, who was a farmer from Montbelliard, who came to Lewinburg County from Europe as part of the planned British settlement of 1753. They spoke French at the time and would have been known as Beijing rather than the anglicized Begin we generally use today. Jacques' great-great-grandson was Benjamin Begin. Benjamin married Sarah Louisa Beck in 1870, and their marriage registration listed Benjamin as a sailmaker. Their son, Charles Benjamin Begin, who also went by Charlie, was born in 1874, and that same year his father Benjamin purchased this land lot in Mahone Bay. We believe Benjamin had this house built shortly after that, around 1875. The original house was quite small, but a very long addition was soon added on the back of the house that allowed Benjamin, and later his son Charles, to make sales on the property on the upper level in a sail loft. Charles's grandchildren later recalled dancing in the upstairs sail loft and described it as having a vast set of windows along one side that opened to allow the sail fabric to be rolled in from the ground outside rather than carrying it up through the house and into the narrow staircase upstairs. On the Lunenburg County map by Ambrose Church, dated circa 1883, you can see this house is listed as being the home of B. Begin, and under the map's business directory for Mahone Bay, Benjamin Begin is listed as a sailmaker. Benjamin passed away three years later in 1886. His son Charles was only 12 at the time. Charles went to work on his uncle's farm for a few years, but he had likely learned a lot about sailmaking from his father, because at just 16 years old, Charles was listed as a sailmaker in the 1891 census in Mahone Bay and was making sales in the home at 578 Main Street, just as his father had. A few years later, Charles married Emily Louisa Rodenheiser in 1895. Pictured here around 1899 is Charles Begin and his wife, Emily Louisa, and their first two children, Nora Bell and Anna Louise, who was the last Begin family member who owned this house. Charles and Emily went on to have three more children, Willoughby, Ellen Maud, and Gurney. In 1901, Charles is again listed as a sailmaker in the census, and in 1907, he is listed in the Mick Alpines, Nova Scotia Directory, 1907-1908, as owning a company named Langel and Begin, which was described as yacht and general sailmakers. He co-owned the company with his business partner and neighbor, Obed Ammon Langel, born 1868 in Mahone Bay, son of the Mahone Bay shipbuilder Titus Langel. It's probably at this time that Charles stopped making sales in his home's sail loft and started making sales with his business partner in a larger building. Although we're not sure which building they used, we know that sales were made on the third floor of a large building on the waterfront known as Mater's Wharf. Locals recall noticing sail outlines marked on the floor of the Mater's Wharf building where sail makers were likely laying out the fabric on the sail outline on the floor. So it is very likely that this is where Charles Begin made larger sales and worked with Obed Langel. Later on, he was no longer making sales in his home, so Charles had the sail loft addition on the back of the home shortened, and the half story was expanded to a full second story to be used as living areas full time. Unfortunately, the Langel and Begin business didn't last long, as Obed Langel passed away in 1911, but Charles continued making sales. According to records of payments from 1914 to 1916, from Freeman Mater to Charles Begin, we know Charles was also working for Freeman Mater as a ship rigger to install sails. Freeman Daniel Mater was a descendant of Ulrich Mater, who was a farmer from the Palatinate who came to Lunenburg County from Europe as part of the planned British settlement of 1753. Freeman Mater was born in Mater's Cove in 1864 to Daniel and Elizabeth Mater and lived in Mahone Bay as a fisherman and then master mariner, who went on to become a ship rigger and was known as Rigger Tom. 
In 1892, Freeman married Mary Burgoyne and is listed as a master mariner on their marriage registration. Freeman had been a rigger since at least 1911, according to the census from that year, but at some point he began managing a rigging crew of men and paid them 15 cents an hour. The number of men on Freeman Mater's crew varied, but according to Freeman Mater's grandson, Robert Mater, also known as Bobby, some of the men who worked on Freeman's crew over the years included Al Callback, W.S. Wynott, Wes Mater, Wally Wynott, Sidney Winters, Charlie Begin, Fred Acker, George Eisner, John Westhaver, Bunny Smeltzer, William Zwicker, Al Burgoyne, James Callback, Austin Burgoyne, George Mater, Bob Label, and Freeman's son, Oswald Mater. Freeman Mater's rigging crew worked for the J. Ernst and Son shipyard in Mahone Bay, but also traveled to other shipyards all over Nova Scotia and even into New Brunswick. They also did other tasks such as painting bridges, moving buildings, and moving ship engines. In the 1921 census, Freeman Mater is listed again as a rigger, and Charles Begin was still listed as a sailmaker, but was likely working on Freeman Mater's rigging crew as well. According to Charles Begin's descendants, he was a member of Freeman Mater's rigging crew who installed sails for the original Blue Nose fishing schooner in Lunenburg in 1921. The Blue Nose was launched in Lunenburg on March 26, 1921 by the Smith & Rulin shipyard. Its dimensions were recorded with a sail area of 10,000 square feet. As you can see here, it was launched without its masts or sails, which was common. This allowed for the shipyard to begin building a new vessel in the yard, while the previous ship had its masts installed and rigging and sails completed while the ship was docked in the water. Freeman Mater's team of riggers, which likely included Charles Begin, installed the necessary system of ropes and wires to control the sails and completed their work quickly so that by April 15, 1921, the Blue Nose was ready to sail for the Grand Banks where its crew fished for cod off Newfoundland. According to Freeman Mater's grandson, Bobby Mater, Freeman's rigging crew at the time consisted of about 10 men who rigged the Blue Nose in just five days and people couldn't believe it. Freeman Mater was paid $385.53 on April 14, 1921 for the rigging of the Blue Nose. The Blue Nose was a working fishing schooner, but was also designed for speed. In October of 1921, the Blue Nose competed in the International Fisherman's Race, where working fishermen raced in their regular schooners. The Blue Nose won and was undefeated for the next 17 years in the International Fisherman's Race.